Welcome to Casa de Beard, talking about single leg balance tonight. We're in the bathroom. Why are we in the bathroom? Because we're talking about single leg balance. Makes perfect sense, right? Um, in our clinic, we talk to a lot of our patients about the importance of single leg balance, whether you're an athlete, um, an elderly person that may have a risk of increased falling. Uh, single leg balance is very, very important. We use the SFMA, which in the top tier SFMA, one of the tests is single leg balance, eyes open, eyes closed with a minimum of 10 seconds eyes closed. Um, and there is a handful of people that can't do that. I would say more can't than can. Um, but balance is one of those things, if you simply work on it, it's gonna get better. So we don't necessarily need a sexy exercise or you know a certain manipulation or soft tissue therapy to help with balance. Of course, those things will assist, but simply working on balance will improve it which will help you improve your athletic endeavors or just movement throughout your day, or hopefully keep you from falling down the stairs and breaking your hip, or if it gets icy out, that's a big deal for our elderly population. So why are we in the bathroom? Well, I have to give credit to my good friend and colleague, Joe Kula, because he had initially coined this, the Kula brush and balance. Mine's way cooler, because it's a good little alliteration, the beard brush and balance. So I'll be, sorry, Joe. Um, we're in the bathroom because I tell all my patients if we're going to dedicate time to single leg balance, one of the easiest ways to incorporate it into our day is when we brush our teeth. Even though we live in Alabama, most people still brush their teeth twice a day. We got two legs. Coincidence? I think not. So, what we're going to do when we brush our teeth in the morning, you got your choice of a weapon here. Um, if I'm working on balance, I'd go with a Sonicare or a mechanical toothbrush. We'll talk about why. But hopefully, most of the mechanical toothbrushes also have a two minute timer, so that's gonna help us as well because hopefully we're brushing our teeth for two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the evening at least, and we can use one leg in the morning, one leg at night to work on single leg balance. Now, why would we do this while we're brushing our teeth? Well, first of all, we don't have to take time out of our day that we're not already doing something else, so brush our teeth, stand on one foot, but as we move a toothbrush, whether it's just your normal little toothbrush or a toothbrush that vibrates at a higher rate or even a low mechanical rate, that's going to mess with your inner ear, the vestibular apparatus a little bit, which is going to challenge single leg balance. So once I've mastered just standing around on one leg, why not stick a toothbrush in my mouth and turn it on and make it vibrate, right? Make it a little more challenging. If we're really getting gung-ho, then we'll do the beard floss brush and balance. But that's, that's like, you know, that's ninja stuff right there. But one leg in the morning, one leg at night. Another way we could challenge that, use another bathroom utensil here, a towel. We can roll that puppy up, set it on the floor, grab our trusty toothbrush. Now we have an unstable surface. So you've seen people use wobble boards. We'll use an Airx pad in the office. Now we can get on this and now I'm a little unsteady. Go to a town, brush my teeth. My only kind of precaution here, don't fall down and jab yourself in the throat. I'm not at risk for any of that or not liable, okay? So there you have the beard brush and balance. I would like everybody out there to take a picture, take a video of you performing the beard brush and balance for you. Maybe you've got a more clever name for it. We'll give some gifts, uh, throw it on social media, hashtag beard brush and balance, and we'll see you next time.